So, hold off the press. Prometheus and Alien Covenant look like they're going to be wiped from the Alien canon. Which, yeah, not uh, nothing to do with me. This is just, it looks like that's the way it's going to be. Or we're getting some like Elseworlds alien story. I don't really understand. We'll kind of look at it. It looks like it's being wiped from canon. Uh, it'll be interesting to see whether the movie has any reference to it. But the TV show from Noah Hawley, not using it. Not using it at all. Changing everything up completely. So, yeah, it's uh, it's wiped from canon, as far as I'm concerned, by the looks of it. It doesn't look like we're going to get that third movie anyway. The follow-up to Alien Covenant. So, Prometheus and Covenant and the Engineers are done. They are wiped from the Alien law, I guess. Or maybe that's an Elseworlds. Maybe, maybe that's the Elseworlds. But basically, Noah Hawley comes out and explains why Prometheus isn't something he wants to use. The alien, no, not interested in using the alien in the way that it had just been created recently, that sort of thing. And Noah Hawley, for those that don't know, is developing an alien TV series. So Prometheus and Alien Covenant should have been set, well, technically should be set before that. But the aesthetic that he's choosing and his wording completely in all of this just sounds like it's done from canon but because Ridley Scott is producing this and the new Alien movie Alien Romulus I would imagine Ridley Scott will try and get some reference to his work in Alien Romulus I'm gonna guess anyway let's take a look Hit subscribe if you're new here let's dive into it right so the Hollywood Reporter Noah Hawley explains why Prometheus isn't useful for his Alien prequel so the Fargo showrunner teases his FX prequel, uh, Alien prequel, and explains why he won't use the franchise's backstory and technology aesthetics from Prometheus and Alien Covenant. But he also very specifically references the alien being created. He doesn't want to do that either. So Emmy winner Noah Hawley is, teeling, is teasing his highly anticipated FX Alien prequel series. The Fargo showrunner was recently interviewed by KCRW's The Business, Hosted by Hollywood Reporter, Editor-at-Large, Kim Masters. Hawley was asked by interviewer Eric Deggans about Alien, which is set on Earth about 70 years into the future from now. Obviously predates uh, the first film in the franchise, Alien, anyway. So right out the gate, Hawley showed his understanding of the franchise by giving a rather perfect description of what Alien is. So he says, the thing about Alien is that it's not just a great monster movie, it's the story of humanity trapped between its primordial parasitic past and its AI future, and they're both trying to kill us, so there's nowhere to go. It's really a story of, does humanity deserve to survive? Does humanity's arrogance in thinking that we're no longer food, and its arrogance in creating these AI beings who we think will do what we tell them, but ultimately might lose their mind, is there a way out? Uh, yeah, okay, interesting. So, says this, there's a moment in the second film, 1986's Aliens, where Sigourney Weaver says, I don't know which species is worse. You don't see them screwing each other over for a percentage. I think there's something really intriguing about exploring humanity in all of its goods and evils, and then trying to recreate for an audience those feelings you had in watching the first two films. Which isn't easy in a franchise that has had four subsequent films and another film coming out soon, Alien Romulus, but I think I have some tricks up my sleeve. So, uh, we'll get back to his statements like that in a minute, but I want you to, let's talk about the, the issue with the engineers, the alien, all that stuff. So Deggins asked Hawley, if he's using the backstory provided in Scott's more recent Alien prequel films, Prometheus and Alien Covenant, which takes place closer in the franchise timeline to Hawley's own show, than those first two movies. The films introduced a controversial backstory whereby the aliens were manufactured as a bioweapon by a mysterious, mysterious race dubbed the Engineers. So, here's his response. Ridley and I have talked about this and many elements of the show. For me, and for a lot of people, this perfect life form, as it was described in the first film, is the product of millions of years of evolution that created this creature that may have existed for a million years out there in space. The idea that on some level it was a bioweapon created half an hour ago, that's just inherently less useful to me. And in terms of the mythology, what's scary about this monster is that when you look at those first two movies, you have this retro-futuristic technology. You have giant computer monitors 
these weird keyboards, you have to make a choice. Am I doing that? Because in the prequels, Ridley made the technology thousands of years more advanced than the technology of Alien, which is supposed to take place in those movies' future. There's something about that that doesn't really compute for me. I prefer the retro-futurism of the first two films, and so that's the choice I've made. There's no holograms. The convenience of that beautiful Apple Store technology is not available to me. So let's 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 break this down, right? Him and Ridley have spoken about uh, about uh, you know whether it's going to be a bioweapon, etc. Now, it was always thought to be a bioweapon anyway. The alien was always thought to be a bioweapon. Uh, but say for it says for me, for a lot of people. Perfect life form, as it was described in the first film, was a product of millions of years of evolution. And then he's specifically referencing David here and the prequels. The idea that on some level it was a bioweapon created half an hour ago, that's inherently less useful to me. So he's not using that, he's done. That's not there. And in terms of the mythology, what's scary about this monster is that when you look at those first two movies, you have this retro futuristic technology. And so if it's not even going to. Uh, it just looks like he's wiping it from canon. <laughs> basically doesn't it now uh, I don't know I, 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 I'm not going to necessarily say that's a bad choice I don't know um, yeah, I don't know what I, I don't know what to make of it quite frankly I like the engineers I like the idea of the engineers they sadly just didn't do anything they just didn't go anywhere and now that it doesn't look like Ridley's going to ever make his third movie and that's all done I don't know. I don't want the timeline to get messy. And it and it and it looks like now he's just going to retcon that out of existence. Which I can see why um and Disney very clearly so there's a few things to consider here. Ridley Scott is obviously producer on this, executive producer on the movie as well. It could be that this TV series is just going to be separate and then the the the, the future movie that's coming out in theaters Alien Romulus, that will reference it and that will be canon. So the series will be like an, an Elseworlds type thing, maybe. But what this tells me massively is that Disney just doesn't doesn't really care about this that much. Because they're not keeping anyone in check, they're not keeping the timeline in check, they're not keeping canon in check. Um, which is unfortunate and a shame. So it does look absolutely like they're going to wipe Prometheus and Alien Covenant from canon. Done from law. And no more engineers by the looks of it. Um, and I, and I, I hope to God, if that is going to be the case, that Noah Hawley then doesn't do something stupid and just like randomly tease it in there anyway as an Easter egg, because that would just confuse the absolute piss out of people. So there you go. I'd love to hear what you guys think, though. So let me know down below. Drop your thoughts. Give the video a like and a share. Take care. Bye bye now.